The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is the Eagles Sports Network. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside Carson Newman Men's Basketball's new assistant coach, Adam Everhart. Adam, uh, one, welcome to the banks of Mossy Creek. Congratulations. What made you want to make the move from uh, a graduate assistantship with Rick Barnes just down the road at UT? Uh, and come back, a Division II player at Bellman for a year and a day, uh, and rejoin the ranks uh, in Division II. Yeah, well, first of all, uh, I'm so happy to be here. Very thankful to Coach Benson and the staff for having me. Um, it, it's a step up, really, um, going from graduate assistant. Anytime you can go from graduate assistant to an assistant coach, really, at any level, is going to be um, a good move. <clears throat> uh, it was awesome that it was right down the road from UT. Um, obviously, uh, my girlfriend is, is here at taking classes at UT, so she'll be able to finish and um, we'll still be in the area, um, so that's that's great. Um, it, it really came down to the guys, the the small college feel, as we'll talk about, and Coach Benson. Um, those are the biggest things, and uh, I'm like I said, I'm just really excited to be here. Uh, I think Bellerman, the first thing that comes to mind is pass and cut and pass and cut, and uh, you never dribble, and you pass and you cut, yep. and you get easy layups. I think about Chuck Benson, uh, and I think zone. Uh, how do those mentalities mesh here at the Banks of Mossy Creek? Well, I'm excited to learn from him, and obviously I don't know everything that's, that what goes into his uh, preparation and all that stuff, and, and I'll learn very quickly. Um, and talking about Bellerman, I think people have an exaggeration of we never dribble ever, which um, <laughs> it's true. It's, it's, it's very limited in, in terms of isolation basketball and whatnot, but I, I think we can take a little bit of, um, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, and, and – it's all going to mesh well. The things that are going to mesh the most that I've noticed um, that I can already compare to is the guys and how close they are and uh, just, you know, how well they, li they, li they like each other, they want to play for each other, and, and that's the biggest thing. And that's the biggest thing that I saw and compared to Bellerman and whatnot. So um, really excited for that, just to get back to that and, and that kind of uh, system and program. It's an interesting staff. KT Carter played in the league. Joe Larravee, a D2 All-American between his time at Southern Indiana uh, and Christian Brothers, uh, and you and Joe both, uh, pretty significant overseas playing experience. Uh, Luxembourg, Germany for you. Mm -hmm. uh, Germany Pro League's no strangers to Carson Newman players through right. the years between Grant Teichman, right. uh, Go Heidelberg Academics, yep. um, uh, Antoine Davis had a cup of coffee in Germany, uh, Charles Clark as well. Uh, how does that experience, that baseline, help you coach for a program? Uh, now that Queens has gone Division I, uh, Carson Newman's produced the most players that have gone pro in the South Atlantic Conference out of, uh, outside of Lincoln Memorial. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a goal for – pretty much any basketball player that co plays college basketball, for the most part, not all, but um, they want to get paid to play basketball. And, and obviously that's a great goal. And seeing with, with Joe and myself, Grant, who I was teammates with, you know, it can be done from this level and even lower levels. Um, so to have that experience playing at this level, being teammates with Grant, knowing Joe, um, I, I think I can just bring that uh, experience letting these guys know, hey, it's possible. You, you are, you know, we're playing at an extremely high level. Um, in this league, and, and that is enough to get overseas and, and make money. And I think I can help in just any way preparing them for life after college. But, you know, first of all, first and foremost, we, we want to win here. Um, and the things that we do every day, that's going to lead them to hopefully bigger and better things after, after college. Not to lift the veil um, too much here, but one thing that I found interesting uh, in and probably says about a lot about you is uh, – a coach who wants to learn. Uh, you were here over Christmas break when Tennessee wasn't playing, watching and yep. uh, and, and learning things. Uh, so probably for a first year assistant, a bit more familiarity than uh, most would have uh, two weeks in, into the gig. What have you seen from this team coming back that leads you to believe, hey, success can be had yep. uh, in 22-23? Well, first of all, when I got here over the summer, I, I got to Knoxville for University of Tennessee. Grant was in town yeah. in Jeff City. Said, hey, you need to come up here and meet the guys, meet Coach Benson. And I did. It went great. And stayed in touch with Coach Benson all year. Any chance, which there wasn't many chances, but any off day that I got at Tennessee that lined up with a home game here, um, I made sure I was here. I knew Joe before. 
um, obviously knowing Coach Benson and just having good phone phone conversations with him throughout the year. Um, I, any chance I got, I was definitely going to come down and, and see and, and just wanted to learn as much as I can. Meeting those guys last summer, playing pickup and whatnot, I, I could tell it was it had a Bellarmine feel to it, mm-hmm. which was obviously it hit home with me, seeing how those guys played for each other. Um, and, and seeing what we have come back this year is, is going to be great. You know, I, I sounds like I'm beating a dead horse, but the way these guys play for each other and they, they like being around each other, it's so awesome to see. And, and that, obviously, we have talent, no yeah. doubt about it. Um, but that is going to take us to the next level, and I'm really excited to see get these guys back on campus and, and see where we can go. All right, Adam, thanks for the time. Congratulations and welcome. Thank you. Appreciate it. That is Carson Newman's new assistant men's basketball coach, Adam Eberhardt. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, and this is the Eagle Sports Network.